Yes. What would you do to deliver it, promoting the idea of a viable alternative to Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and Labour at every opportunity, made up of all his support platforms, <coughs> refusing to engage in tactics that are specifically targeted at undermining those <coughs> who support the platform. Declan Bree, independent candidate at Sligo, former TD. Will you support it? Yes. Will you work together to form a government? Yes. What will you do? I also wish to confirm that I will be prepared to work with all of our progressive forces to deliver this objective, including seeking a vote transfer arrangement with those involved in the right to change political power. Joan Collins TV. I'm going to dispense with questions now. You know what they are. Just to speed it up. Joan Collins TV. Yes. Yes. What will you do to deliver it? By working with other independent candidates who endorse the right to change policy principles and calling for transfer for all those who endorse the principles. Mick Wallace TD. Yes, yes, working towards the idea of a real alternative to Fine Gael, Labour and Fianna Fáil, with all those interested in saying, in a spirit of unity at national and local level. Thomas Springle TD. Yes, yes, after the election I will work with any progressive alliance that could get rid of Fine Gael, Labour or Fianna Fáil. Tommy Bruin TD. Yes, Yes, by together supporting the Right to Change programme and coordinating in each constituency and region. Councillor Paul Hand, there's been a couple of typos, these are my fault, not Dave's. Councillor Paul Hand, Independent, Dublin, South Central. Yes, yes, we'll consider how to do it for all and open to ideas and discussions with Right to Change. Councillor Kieran Perry, Independent, Dublin City Council. Yes, yes, wants to discuss for all and is looked for a meeting with Right to Change. Councillor Brendan Young in Kildare, will you support principles? Yes. Will you work together? Yes. However, we are only willing to support this initiative on the clear understanding that the formation of a progressive government will only include the parties and independents that have participated in this discussion. What will you do to achieve it? We object to the public exhortation to agree to voting packs being promoted in the mass media. Councillor Francis Timmins, Clondalk, and I should put that on there. Uh, yes, yes, I will engage with like-minded people to form a new and progressive government based on the right to change principles. Councillor Pat Cabinet Wicklow. Yes, yes, wants to discuss for a right to change. Uh, Michael O'Gorman, independent candidate Kerry. Yes, yes, currently in discussion for a right to change. There he is. Councillor Joanne, low key looking fellow there. <laughs> Councillor Joanne Pender. Joanne isn't running for election but has a, has a base in Kildare. At the moment she, she thinks she isn't running, we have to talk for a moment about that. Uh, yes, so for that reason, question two, um, Joanne hasn't answered. What would she do? And she has a big support base there in Kildare. As we are not running a candidate in the general election, there are limits on what we can do to make a progressive cup with a possibility. However, the parliamentary track is but one avenue of the struggle we are engaged in. As important, in fact probably more so, is the street struggle and developing a mass campaign of broad support in the community. Any progressive government will rely on that support should they come to power and when they are faced with the wrath of the EU. We see our role as developing that struggle and will continue to work with others in that regard. Barbara Smith, independent candidate, Longford Westmead. Yes, yes, and currently in discussions with Right to Change to make a progressive alternative for reality. Seamus Healy, um, TD, Workers and Unemployed Action Group, Tipperary. Yes, yes, we have always cooperated with all forces opposed to austerity and oppression, including with all forces in the campaign for the abolition of water charges, and will continue to do so. So we're getting into some of the parties now. People before profit. Yes, in terms of support and principles. Will you work together? Yes, this is the, 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 the people before profit providing this. People before profit will support the formation of a left government that will incorporate fully the right to water principles into its first programme for government. Should the numbers allow, we will enter discussions with others on forming such a government. <coughs> what will you do to deliver it? We believe that parties and independents and the right to water movement generally, one, should organise joint rallies to build support for the principles, two, stage a major pre-election demonstration to galvanise support for an anti-austerity agenda, three, engage in further discussions to promote transfer pacts between those who support right to water principles. Social Democrats. The Social Democrats sent us a letter um, the other day. It's been widely reported in the media. Uh, the first the two paragraphs uh, recording that are relevant say as follows. While we wholly support the principles of equality, democracy and justice, which is a mind document, 
we do have to understand that the substance of the entire document amounts to a manifesto. And given that we intend to produce our own manifesto, it would not be appropriate for us to sign up to that of another group. Sorry, our office, we said we would not be engaging in any pre-election pact, and that remains our position. We are preparing for a general election based on our own policy priorities, and while we have common ground with most of the objectives set out in the right to change document, we intend to stand in front of the electors as a fully independent party. And the austerity alliance. Question one, do you support the policy principles? No. <laughs> Shame on them. The anti-austerity alliance, the anti alliance generally supports the reforms outlined in the policy principles. We believe that for these to be realised will necessitate going much further than the projected spending increases in the fiscal framework document. These reforms are reasonable and necessary and provide the opportunity to win mass support for the radical change that is needed, but they are beyond that the current system can offer. We don't agree that the Good Friday Agreement or St Andrew's Agreements offer a way forward, as the failures over the last 17 years show. They institutionalise sectarian division, <coughs> whereas we need unity of the working class, Catholic and Protestant, to overcome sectarianism in the sectarian parties, which are a, ba a barrier to real change in Northern Ireland. That's, that's, that's the answer to question one. <laughs> question two. <laughs> question two. No. The Anti Austerity Alliance is open to participate in government, but not a government that includes any parties associated with austerity or a government whose policy is based on, cooperate, on operating within the strict fiscal rules set out by the EU or capitalism. We want a government that will scrap the unjust taxes and charges and reverse the draconian austerity cuts that have been implemented. A government that immediately sets about the transformation of the economy on the basis of democratic public ownership of the key sections of the economy to ensure people's needs, not profit, is the basis of society. The transformation of Syriza in only six months from being an anti-austerity party into leading a pro-austerity government shows that real change can only happen if a government is made up of parties or TDs who are prepared and committed to break capitalist rules. We believe mass mobilisations of working class people will be crucial if the programme of such a genuine left government is to be fully implemented. And as I said, we, question three is only relevant if you answer yes and yes. Just more nonsense. We move on. The Communist Party of Ireland. Um, question one, yes. Question two, yes. Three, how will you work together to deliver this objective? The question is difficult to deal with within an overall electoral strategy. Some aspects can be easily solved with cooperation and joint work, whereas others, such as finding the most suitable candidate in a constituency <coughs> and working together to try to win a seat against the established Troika parties, might prove more difficult, if not impossible. It would take a great deal of commitment for the parties involved to agree on who should stand and who should not. What is required, in essence, is a strategy that would put a class interest ahead of party political interest. This question brings out the weakness of the left as a cohesive bloc and also reveals the hazards and dangers of bringing the movement into the quagmire of elections. We are concerned that there may be too much emphasis on an electoral contest at the expense of the mobilising and politicising of workers. While we support the honesty and earnestness of the trade unions and the personal integrity of the trade union leaders involved in establishing right to water, right to change and our commitment to building this movement and securing a victory, we feel that too much emphasis on elections could deflect it from the central and essential role of mobilising workers as an independent force. We have all seen our people grow with enthusiasm and political understanding in the course of the great struggle. It shows what is possible when our movement has a clear understanding of itself and has its own goals and demands. Only such an understanding has the potential to bring real change and is the only guarantor of real change. Direct Democracy Ireland. Yes, yes, Direct Democracy Ireland support an electoral voting pact with all those endorsing the right to change platform. Sinn Féin, yes. Question two, yes. Sinn Féin wants a progressive government that is an alternative to Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, <coughs> founded on the principles of right to change, including fair taxation, investment in public services and decent wages. We are prepared to work with like-minded parties, independents, trade unions and those in the community to make this happen. In addition, three, to question three, in addition to supporting Sinn Féin candidates, we also want to maximise the number of progressive voices in the Dáil who do not represent established parties and we are therefore happy to ask voters to give their next preference votes to other right to change candidates. <coughs> National Citizens Movement. Yes, yes, three, only unity of purpose will rid ourselves and the Irish people of the governments that have consistently followed the neoliberal agenda 
which had ruined the country and enslaved its people. The Walker's Party. Uh, the support principles, yes. And we have some things to read out here. Do you or party in particular support the right to change principles? Yes. The right to change initiative is a welcome contribution to the development of a vibrant progressive politics in Ireland. The Walker's Party views the document in a positive light. <coughs> We view the policy principles as a valuable starting point for building a progressive alternative. We do not view it as a substitute for our own socialist programme, which the party intends to stand in the forthcoming general election in the Republic of Ireland. So, the question two, will you agree now to form a government if the numbers allow? No. As we indicated on the 16th of October, should the issue arise in the aftermath of the elections, the party will engage cooperatively and with a positive spirit with other progressive and in particular socialist forces. The right to change policy principles could, in this context, contribute significantly to that discussion. The policy principles, however, cannot be a substitute for the detailed discussions that would be necessary in order to negotiate the formation of a government. The question of whether we would now agree to the formation of a progressive government is therefore not one that we can answer positively at this time. So, and to sum up, the parties who we have been in discussions with and written to and who have formally responded, um, we, have, we have one non responding um, Maureen was on the TV. Um, are the Social Democrats, the Anti Austerity Alliance, and the Workers' Party. So they're the people who declined uh, to join Right to Change. The people who accepted to join Right to Change uh, as of today. Uh, Claire Taney TD, <coughs> Joan Collins TD, Mick Wallace TD, Thomas Brinkle TD, Tommy Bruin TD, Seamus Healy TD, Declan Bree, former TD, Councillor Paul Hand, Councillor Kieran Perry, Councillor Francis Timmins, Councillor Pat Kavner, Councillor Joanne Panda, not money, Councillor Brendan Young, uh, Michael O'Gorman, and Barbara Smith, both running. And in terms of parties, Sinn Fein, People Before Profit, Communist Party of Ireland, Direct, Direct Democracy Ireland, and the National Citizens Movement. And in terms of a trade union support, if the communities want it. If the communities want it, for the reasons I've outlined, the CPSU, while continuing to support right to war, are unable to support right to change, um, for those technical reasons, all the other unions are spoken um, right to change. Um, so, do we have a movement for change? Yes. We, what we certainly have is policies that they will all support, campaign on, and agree on as a basis for the formation of the government, should the numbers allow. The number 79, by the way, the majority of the next generation 79. So we have the policies. That's the team so far. And you represent your communities in many of the counties around um, this part of the island. Um, so do we have a movement for change? That is the, in summing up, in summing up, what we are be trying to do, what, I only got to do one interview this week, I don't know why that was, um, to actually explain what we're trying to do here. And I suppose you can see it um, by looking at the questions and by looking at who's on, who's, who's on board and who isn't. We are trying to offer mission, for the first time, a choice for progressive government. If we do that, if we do that, we will have already broken ground. If we offer the electorate a choice for progressive government on a common platform, which isn't a right-wing government led by Fianna Fáil, or a right-wing government led by Fianna Gael, it would be the first time since independence the electorate have been offered that choice. We will 